Okay. <laughs> I need new. Allow viewers to request to be broadcast. I don't know how to do this. Hi, Tia. Um, how do I do this? Uh oh. Whoops. How do I get comments? Comments will appear here. Okay, well. Hmm. I don't know if anybody's here. Oh, there we go. Ah, KK is here. <laughs> oh my God. I'm adding KK to my live broadcast. <laughs> hey, look, it's Penny too. Hey, Penny. I don't know how to ha add everybody. <clears throat> oh, look, I see chat. This is so cool. Oh my God. Hey, Jacqueline. <laughs> Penny, you don't need to write hello a million times. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> so I got my cup of Java. <laughs> Karen. Hi, Penny. <clears throat> Hi, Karina. I'm just going to wait for a few more people. Tia, where are you going? Who wants treat? Tia, come and see Penny. Say hi to Penny, baby girl. Oh, Tia, where my big girl? Look at. She's part of the furniture. <laughs> Tia, are you being an ornament? She's like, leave me alone already. I want to go see my dad. He's outside. <laughs> Oh my god. This is cool. First time I've ever been Facebook live. <clears throat> this is kind of neat. Tia, are you tired? Want to go sleep in your bed? <laughs> Penny sees you, Tia. Tia, Tia. She's like ignoring me. She's like, can you just shut up? Leave me alone. Go about your business. <laughs> she wants to go be outside with her dad. Tia, want to go outside? You want to go see daddy, Tia? <laughs> so, <clears throat> I'm not sure how good of a view or how good my camera will be going downstairs because my internet's up here because the people that move in downstairs I'll give you a tour of it down there but I'm not sure how good my internet will be I hope my 4G network kicks in I know <laughs> I know she did Penny isn't that nice of her <laughs> Tia you want to go see your dad want to go outside You want to go see your dad. Are you my little princess? Tia, you're a special girl. <laughs> Hi, Jan. So, I don't know how many people are here because I don't think it tells me, does it? Does anyone know if it does? But, okay, let's go bring Tia outside. Come on, I'll let you go see your dad. So this is to my front little area where we can sit outside. But I put an umbrella up here because it's so hot out front here. So she wants to go out there to be with her dad. <clears throat> and there's Jeffrey in his garden. There's our beans and peppers, tomatoes, and Tia. She just wanted to be out here with him. Tia. Tia. Oh, there's only four viewing? Oh, that's great. That's the four most important people then. <laughs> so, yeah, this is the... Uh, 
This here, this is the deck that we stained because it was all cedar and it was really gray looking because it fades over time. And it was like three years old, so it was super duper faded. And this color just kind of matches all my terracotta color pots. So yeah, so that's the front deck. Inside is the entrance to the hallway. Uh, we finished the living room. There's our beautiful wall that we did. That's, uh, what do you call that? Um, what do you call it? Um, inspirational wall. So we put all that up. <clears throat> Me and Jeff did all that. We painted above the, the fireplace. This is the purchase that we're me to. And this is Tiki's perch. This is where they hang out with us all day long. Right now they're not out here because I'm, I'm doing this. And we have to finish downstairs shampooing. So we put up the mirrors. We painted and touched up. We set up all the ornaments. Um, this is Tia where she sleeps at night. And when we go to work, she's in her little caged bed. Because... I don't let her roam the house. So this is the living room. It's fair size. There's our TV that's not even hooked up. Well, it's plugged in, but <laughs> the only thing we watch on there is Netflix from our other computer. We just connect it to it. So, yeah. And sorry for the turn. So this is the kitchen. This is the dining room area. This here plant is the most exotic, beautiful plant. Now, when my mom passed away, um, a lady came that was friends of my mom and dad's, and she brought this to the funeral. And then my younger sister said, well, you take it home because I'm no good with plants. And this will be five years old. And every year it blooms these beautiful red flowers with this. This is real. It's not a fake plant. And they're super easy to take care of. And then this little fern here, my mom bought me that five, maybe a year before she died. So five or six years ago before she died, she bought me that plant. And she bought all the sisters one, and theirs died. My mom's died. Mine's the only plant that survived and is still alive. Um, I don't know what kind of plant it is. I don't remember what it's called, but it's super stiff and prickly. So it hooks on to everything. So this is the kitchen. That is our back entrance. This is our beautiful granite countertops. We absolutely love these granite countertops. And I know this is old. <clears throat> if you search these online, I had this. I, I seen this at a yard sale about 20 years ago. <laughs> I know it was a long time ago, but my mom had one of these when I was growing up all my life. She cooked in this rotisserie for forever. And I seen it at a yard sale for 40 bucks and I bought it and I've had it for probably over 20 years. And we used it last night. We cooked a roast in it. It cooks up such beautiful stuff. So this is the entrance to go downstairs, but I'll go there in a minute. And there is my beautiful, lovely grandson, Chase. Isn't that beautiful? And then my son bought me this. It says home is where your mom is. And this is some of my art that I made. Oh, I didn't make this. That was sent to me by one of my viewers. But I did make that. And I hung that up on the wall in the hallway. And then I hung that up here as well because that's uh, something I made too. The Finna Bear stuff. So this is our bedroom. It is really big and lots of room and that's to the backyard there. It's a beautiful view back there. And that's that's just the bedroom. There is our bathroom. We didn't do really anything in the bathroom other than um, touch up paint because kids, whoops, I forgot to put the rug back down. The kids um, <coughs> have fingerprints and marks everywhere that <coughs> we just couldn't wipe off so. We just, we just painted everywhere. 
And this is the bird room. <clears throat> Miku, say hello. So this is their room. They get the room to, we have our freezer in here. We've got some of my craft stuff. Just some things sitting here. There's shelves here, but this is the precious babies. <laughs> Miku, say hello. Say hello. So the birds are only in this room, and there's Tiki, who is always, always free. Like, he never gets locked up. His cage door, we took it off. He doesn't even have a door. So he comes and goes when he likes. One thing he is, he's very, very smart, and he does not go on, on Miku's cage. Because if he did, Miku will kill him. So, Miku, are you going to say hi now? Say hello. Say hi, pretty bird. No? No. So this is where the birds can, when we just leave this door open, this is to our solarium where our hot tub is. We have to redo the floor, but our hot tub froze in the winter time. And to repair it now, because it's still under warranty, to repair it, we have to lift it 10 inches because right now it just has antifreeze in it. Oh my gosh, it's got mold growing in it now. That antifreeze is no good. So the guy came. Why didn't he clean this out? Oh my God. I need to be calling them back. Whew, that even smells. So this is where Miku can hang out on his perch. Oh my God. We got to fix. get that guy here to fix that hot tub. But anyway, we have to raise it 10 inches for him to get the back panel off. And then we can go in our hot tub. So we'll redo the floor once we get this hot tub raised. And I'm not sure how we're going to do this. Because that is a lot of work. This is our backyard. This is where the pool was. This is where Jeff's going to be putting a greenhouse. So look at that nice big hole. Bye pool. And I'll tell you what. I do not miss that pool. I do not. The maintenance from these trees. See all these trees? The maintenance to look after this pool with those trees hanging right above the pool was unbelievable. So we just got rid of it. Enough is enough with the pool. So I, can, I leave this solarium door open and the birds can come out here. It's all screened in. Like nothing can get them, especially the eagles. Because they will kill him. They will steal him. And they will take my baby away. Right baby birdie? Say hi baby. Say hi. Say hi. He doesn't want to say hi. Okay, so that's two. Oh, I don't want to show you this, but this is my craft room. <laughs> Never stays clean. It was clean. I promise it was clean. But all that stuff over there has to go downstairs into a quilting room, which we have yet to set up. Um... We will get to it. Uh, yeah, so this is what I'm working on on Debbie's daughter's project. So, yeah, I keep all the stuff on that chair, what I'm using. And there's my AGG. <laughs> Just letting you know, I got AGG still. So, yeah, this is the craft room. It's a little bit of a mess, but it was clean. I'm sorry about my messy craft room. But it was clean. So. Now we keep a gate up. So Tia doesn't get into the. Uh, go down the basement. So this is the brand new carpet. This was $5,000 this carpet. Because it's super thick. And basements have concrete floors. So there's a super thick underlay under it. So when you walk on this. It's like walking on cushions like I'm walking on air it's so soft so this is what we'll be renting out to a student they can have the whole downstairs well not the whole thing um, we'll share the laundry room so they get to use the washer and dryer that's our tankless hot water tank it's a piece of shit don't ever buy one 
They take forever to get your hot water. And secondly, if there's not enough pressure in your taps, you don't get any hot water at all. So I absolutely hate this thing with a passion. So we'll start off with the entrance to, this would be the bathroom for the renter. So I'll turn some lights on here. So that's the shower. I'm staying out of the mirror, as you can see. And the, the sink and the toilet. And this is the sauna. So they get to use the sauna. They have their own sauna. It's electric. So they can just fire it up, throw water on it, and steam it right up in here. Um, it does have uh, a, what you would call it, a pillow. Who would lay on that? It's a hard piece of wood. So that's the sauna. There is the, this is a closet. My mop is here right now. So nice, big, huge closet for the renter. And then down in here is the bedroom. And this used to be my craft room. When I first moved in here, this place here was my craft room. Everything was all on those shelves. Uh, there's shelves on both sides. There's lots and lots of shelving in here. And that's for a TV. So this will be the bedroom. This is our storage. But this is where I moved to as a craft room. So I worked down in here for a couple months. But we're moving all of this because this is going to be where I set up my quilting machine, um, the quilting frame. The renters get to have their own full-size fridge. Big, huge fridge. And this here is another big storage area. So everything's going to go into here for storage. <clears throat> so all that stuff that's in here in this room here. All this stuff is going to go in here. And then this is going to be strictly sewing machines and, and quilting. Hey. Um, yeah, so this is what Jeff did. Do you like how he piles stuff? So this is my quilting frame here. All these pieces, these boxes, it was shipped to me. So that's... Uh, Lots of stuff to push over in there, but we'll get to that. This is no hurry because they're not getting that room. But they are getting this big, huge living room with a fireplace. But that's an electric fireplace. And the only sad part is I have to leave my curio cabinet down here because we can't move this. That's a lot of work to take every single thing out of here. Now in here I have, whoops, I have all kinds of beautiful uh, Swarovski crystal stuff. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful stuff. And my pet pets that had passed away are in their little urns there. And that's my mom. Whoops. Didn't want you to see me. So, yeah, this is just way too much stuff to move. So, what Jeff and I are going to do is we're going to put a lock, a long lock across here and a lock across there. So, And they have to sign an agreement that they're not going to steal anything out of there or break it. Because if they break it, they're dead. So, yeah, this is a super big, super big living room area. So it's a nice big space. It took us a lot of work to get this all patched and repainted. And I'm telling you, it was a lot of work. But I'm really, really thankful that it's done. Because now, and we put LED bulbs everywhere in the house. So there's LEDs everywhere. So I don't care if they leave the lights on all day, all night. So I'm just going back upstairs. There. A tour of my house.
completely finished on the inside and the outside. Oh, Tia's back in. And there's Jeff and Marie. <laughs> All right. Now we're back to square one. So, what'd y'all think? We worked hard. <laughs> Believe me. We worked really hard. And you can ask the girls because they, they spent a lot of time with us. <laughs> While we were doing it. Oh, a fan feels really good. I have air conditioning, but I had my blinds open or my shears and it got really hot in here because the sun beams there. So anyway, that's that. Jeff, why do you have your shoes in here? Um, right? <laughs> you love it? Now it's time to relax, uh, just craft guys, I just want to craft so badly and I feel like I never have time. But you know what, even with my sore knee, if I kept myself moving, it would hurt but by the end of the day it would hurt really bad. But I was able to function with it, you know, keep working until it was just so painful I just couldn't work anymore. I had up to sit down. So that's another reason why it took us so long. And now we can just sit back and enjoy everything. I mean, and the KK is the one that said, it's hard work, hon, but it'll be worth it in the end. <laughs> and she's right, it was. This house was completely in shambles. The living room, the kitchen. I sat on my couch. I cried. I was like, my God, is this ever going to go back to normal? It was just so much mess. And I was way too embarrassed to show anybody what the mess we had. Like, the girls saw it. But I, I know we were, were renovating and stuff. But when you sit in that for months, two months, that's about as long as it was, a month and a half. It gets depressing, so. But now we're just gonna move all those boxes today out of the storage room, and we're gonna kind of set that room up with the, because I have another six foot table, and that's gonna be where the sewing machines are, so when my sister comes over and she wants to quilt and sew, we can sew down there, because those doors close, and you know, it'll be, we won't be bothering the person, because if it's a student, We'll never see them much anyways because they'll always be in school. So that's it, guys. Yeah, it is, Penny. It was so... You guys know how overwhelming it was for me except for the times I just sat here and I had tears running down my eyes thinking, I'm, I just... My knee is not going to let me get this done. Please, God, give me the strength to finish this house. So I stopped being so, I wasn't depressed, it's just, it's, it's overwhelming and it just gets to you after a while when you sit and look at it and you come home from work and it's like, I don't even want to go home <laughs> from work and I hate my job as it is. Yeah, and I'm like, yeah, I got to go home to that disgusting mess. <laughs> and I said to Jeff a few times, I think I'm going to go hide in my craft room. <laughs> And I couldn't because it was even the worst part of the whole house was my craft room because we were shoving everything in there because where my bedroom is, that's where the bird room was. And when we took everything out of storage and brought our bedroom suite and everything back from storage, we were piling everything in my craft room, my bedroom, into the bird room. We just had stuff everywhere. We just didn't know where to start. But it's worth it. Just follow what KK says. It's worth it. Yeah, and Mary, you were in the same boat. <laughs> Mary had the same thing when she was building her craft room. It, it's hard. It really is. But it's worth it now. So all, like I said, we just have a little bit more to do downstairs. Um, shift some things over. 
finished shampooing the carpets. They're all done except for the foyer and the stairs. I want to shampoo that and then that I can call completely done. Move in ready. We've got people coming on Monday for viewing of that and we're charging $900 all inclusive which means they don't have to pay for heat or electric. They just have to pay for their cable and their internet because I don't want them hooking up to our internet because it does not work that good downstairs. You have to have your own modem down there. And we learned that from when I was crafting down there. I had to get a separate internet just to craft down there because I had such terrible reception down there. So, um, yeah, they just have to pay for their own internet and they just need to get the cheapy stuff. Yeah, I know you did, Mary. I know. They are coming to do my apartment, right, Ruby? <laughs> Jeff? What? April thinks we're going to do her apartment next. No. <laughs> but it's her birthday today. Maybe. <laughs> oh, maybe. <laughs> Hell to the no. <laughs> I love you, girl. And I know it's your birthday, but I am not doing this again. <laughs> <laughs> That's a bargain. It is a bargain, Mary. I think it is. They got winter parking. They've got two spots for vehicles. Um, they can plug in their vehicles. And they got our backyard, our barbecue, the hot tub, all that kind of stuff. So, yeah. Anyways, I'm going to have to go and get my hot tub cleaned out. Jeff, go look at the hot tub. Why? Just go open the lid and look in the hot tub. That cannot stay that way. You are going to shit when you see that. It is terrible. Did that guy fill it up with water and just leave the water in there? Because that's what it looks like. There was only any freeze in there, and now there's water in there. So the guy that came to repair it didn't even tell us that he put the water in and closed the lid and left it. So I think that's why it went moldy. I don't know. It's been over. He came a week ago Friday, so that's how long it took for it. My husband is a building contractor. Oh. <laughs> yeah, do her new house when she moves. Oh, okay. Yeah, no, no, no can do, April, you're too far away, you have to be on the other side of the world. <laughs> no can do. So, anyway, um, yeah, that's about, oh, I'll show you mine and Jeff's wedding picture. That's her. Wedding picture when we got married in Las Vegas. Jeff's mom's framed it all in those beads and pearls and sent it to us. So cute. Yeah, so. <laughs> all right, guys, I'm going to get going. I just wanted to give you a full tour so you guys can see that. Yes, I need a passport. There's my excuse why I can't go. Huh? <laughs> All right, I'm out of here, guys. Thank you so, so much for joining me. There's, there's a little Tia. Oh, Tia, Tia. Tia time, time for Tia. It's Tia time. Tia time, time for Say Tia. Bye, Tia. Say bye, Tia. Say bye. Bye, everybody. Happy birthday, April. Have a wonderful day. Bye.